This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Valheim video. Today, we're going to rebuild a village. Let's get to it. Before we jump into today's video, I just got a quick announcement from today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is back with another Black Friday sale. Right now, you can get 83% off and an additional four extra months for free. Now, you all have heard me talk about Surfshark on this channel before. They have sponsored a bunch of my other videos. And I'm always happy to have them as a sponsor because I use their service. It's an absolutely fantastic VPN service. I highly recommend it. I use it on my phone all the time and occasionally on my computer. Why do I use it on my computer? Well, you can use it to bypass region block content when you're watching shows on Netflix or any other streaming service. There have been a few movies that were released on Netflix in other countries that were never released over here in North America. And I got to watch them because I just used Surfshark. Using Surfshark VPN can also hide what you are doing from your ISP because your ISP sees everything that you're doing unless you're using a VPN. And it can also help protect you if you install it on your phone and you are out and about connecting to shady locations. And right now is the perfect time to purchase it if you have not. Because with their Black Friday sale, you can get 24 months plus an additional four months for free. And it's only going to cost you $2.21 a month. That's going to be a total of $59.76 build up front for 28 months. That is an insane deal. It's just a crazy good deal. And it's a crazy good service. So check out the link down below to find out more. All right, so welcome to a brand new series that I'm calling This Old Longhouse. We're just gonna find random structures that spawn on the map and restore them to their former glory. Well, whatever I assume their former glory is or was. And in today's video, we're gonna start with one of these villages. So this is just a random seed, uh, random map, all that good stuff. And I just found this random village and it looks pretty cool. We got uh, a couple of little houses here. It looks like a pen that maybe I've had some chickens, some stuff here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it all, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna start with going over to this house here and repairing the roof that is caved in. We got holes everywhere and everything just needs a good refresh and repair. You can see it looks very dilapidated. All right, now that we got the outside all repaired and looking nice, it's time to restore the inside. As you can see here, the inside is not looking very good. Now, unfortunately, these beds are gonna have to go. There is no saving the beds. So we're gonna have to get rid of those and put some fresh new beds in here. So we're actually gonna upgrade this house with a brand new fancy bed and Instead of those little, those little crappy beds, we're going to put a nice fancy bed in there just like that. We're also going to get rid of this. This is no longer necessary here. And we're going to create a new storage space for this house, uh, taking the chest here and placing them in the front of the bed like so. And there we go. Now we have the storage space combined with the bed. It's a lot more functional and a lot more pleasing to look at. Now it's time for some interior decorating because as it stands right now, this house is rather bare. All right, now this looks a lot more like a home. We added some wolf rugs to brighten the area up a little bit because there was a lot of brown, a few torches here and there on each side to actually for real brighten as in light the area up so that you could see at nighttime. We added a table with a small little mushroom lamp so that you could come in from a hard day of being a Viking, sit down at your table, enjoy some ale or whatever, and uh, just relax at your table. And then we have a little small table here on the side to store things. It's kind of a table shelf hybrid. You can see we have a pie resting on it and some additional storage here towards the front and a nice little storage nook. On top of that, I wanted to bring in the outside a little bit more because as it stands right now, we only have two openings on each side and it's kind of claustrophobic. So in order to do that, we added some doors to the top of each side here so that you could open them up and just bring in the outside more, get more of a draft through the house when it's those hot days and uh, just make it look nice, vent smoke, whatever you need to do. Now the outside of this thing, it needs a little love as well. And I would like to try and connect the houses together with a little bit of a path because we have a house here 
here and over there. And as it stands now, it's a little bit, I mean, we got hills in the way and everything else. So we're gonna do a little bit of work on the outside of this thing, make it look a little bit more inviting from the outside. It looks inviting once you open the door and step in, but we're gonna make the outside inviting as well. We're gonna start by uh, leveling out the area and just leveling a path over to the other house. Okay, now that we got a little bit of landscaping done, we got a nice path over to the other house here. We're gonna work on a little bit more landscaping around the house. All right, so as you can see, we've done a little bit of landscaping, added a little bit of shrubbery to the front of this thing, a little tiny flower right there, and we got a nice path going around to the other houses. And we have a little setting area here and a little work area so that you can do woodworking right beside your house. If you get tired, you can come over here and sit down and take a break. Got a few barrels for storage and we added a shield to the front here and a little bit of additional woodwork just to kind of make things look a little nicer from the outside. The next thing on the agenda is to fix this old rundown chicken coop and chicken pen and work on this second house here. We're gonna start off with this second house just by doing the same thing that we did to this one over here. And that is to go through and just refresh everything bring everything up to code, make everything look nice and new. All right, so we completed the renovations on the shell of this house, bringing everything up to code, making everything look nice and fresh and new. And we added a door to it, but we didn't add a normal door. We actually added split doors so we could open up just the top door and let a little bit of the outside in because this house is going to be a different design than the previous house. Now it's time to get to work on the chicken coop over here. And this thing is going to need a massive overhaul in this whole area. This fence is dilapidated and it's a terrible design and we're gonna get something much more sturdy. All right, so we completely upgraded this chicken coop and chicken pen to give it a much more modern feel and provide a little bit more comfort for the chickens and security. This iron fence around the top here is going to make it much harder for predators to get in and much more difficult for chickens to get out. We also installed some doors so there's easy entry in and out of the pen and we added a little awning to the front of the chicken coop so that they could get out of the rain or whatever type of weather and still be outside a little bit. Now we're gonna work on the interior of this second smaller dwelling. We're not gonna be able to fit as much stuff in it as we did the previous one, but I'm sure that we can make it feel much more like a home than what it does now. So we have completed the renovations of the second house along with all of the interior design. We tore out the floor completely and added in this new woven floor and added in a dedicated fireplace with a chimney, which you saw from the outside. We also added in a raised bed because we could not fit as large of a bed as we put in the previous house. I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit and add a little bit of sense of verticality to the area and just kind of break it up so everything wasn't so flat. So we got a nice little raised bed right here, a small bench, a lamp slash shelf to put whatever on. We have some bread resting on there right now. A table, which is a little bit smaller than the previous table. Same design, but we went with a more rustic look to the chairs and added in a small blue lamp to the back half of it. Because of the lack of space that we have in this house, we were not able to add a lot of storage. We do have one storage chest in here for whatever you need to store but we don't have a lot of additional space for storage because we have more space for occupying guests and the bed. Now for the exterior of this one, we're not gonna do as much as we did to that one over here. I went around the outside of this thing and just kind of mowed back the grass a little bit because there was just far too much and it was encroaching inside of the actual structure. So we needed to get rid of that and we just kind of created a nice little path around the outside here. We didn't do too much in the way of landscaping to this house. I like the way that it had the path around it. So I just went with that and filled it in with stone. So we got a nice little stone path all the way around the outside of the thing. 
And then we added in a few additional trees just to give it a little bit of shade. And we added some boxes and a bucket along with a cart full of goodies. And that's it for this one. I wanted to keep this one looking very basic. It has the chimney, so it's going to stand out from all of the other houses because it's going to be the only one with the chimney. That's going to cause it to stand out more than the others. It also has the nice chicken pen in front of it, so that looks good as well. And overall, I just felt like it didn't need a whole lot to look as good as it does. And unfortunately, that is all of the time we have for this episode. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when part two of this comes out. And we do the two houses that you see behind me, along with filling in these fences here, adding some wildlife to them, creating the garden. As you see, there were some berry bushes back there. And then we have that one over there as well. And uh, we got a lot of landscaping work to do in this area as well. So make sure you come back for part two. I want to give a big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and a massive thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Leecrow Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.